Hello all. All right. So what I wanted to cover today was si all the seismic activity that's going on around the world right now. But I'm going to concentrate it just on a few places just for examples. Such as here in California. Look at that silly thing. We have a super volcano called Mammoth Mountain. Now from, for the last several months there's been earthquake so swarm after earthquake swarm there. Nobody even seems to notice. But what my point here is, is that sometimes when you have earthquake swarms, they're different from what you may have thought they were. Such as me thinking that all these earthquakes were related to lava moving around. But uh, the uh, USGS and the uh, other organizations have been taking seismic measurements. Let me show you that chart. As you can see, the earthquakes are all over the place. They're not centrally located. And what they're calling this is steam and gas venting. And you know, I think they're right. It really makes sense because if it was lava pushing through the rock, there'd be a clear and obvious path with the earthquake, but there isn't here. So just because Yellowstone is having more earthquakes and a few swarms does not mean that it isn't just gas and and steam that's been trapped under there. We got a lot of water last year that may be just now trickling down to that area and causing these earthquakes. It could be something just that simple, really. But we do have a warning from scientists about earthquakes. Yep, they're saying the global, global climate change is causing five-year intervals of on and off spinning rotation. Uh, of the planet slowing down then speeding up and slowing down about every five years and scientists are saying this is just going to get much worse and they compare it to a merry-go-round when you're on a merry-go-round when you're kids and you went further out to the center the thing would slow down well as the uh, ice sheets start to melt the water is being redistributed i hope that's the right word and it's causing everybody to go out to the end of the merry-go-round which is slowing down the planet only in microseconds, nothing even worth changing the clocks over because in five years it'll switch back anyway. So when you go moving in towards the center, it speeds up. When you go to the outer edge, it slows down. Also, inside of the planet, there's a core that is spinning a little differently than what our spin is. And so every time our spin changes, it causes the fluids in, the, in our mantle and our core now this is a representation of the planet earth and as you can see it's pretty explanatory where the super volcanoes are over here and how they may work to bunch up just for a little bit causing the planet to sort of expand and contract causing extreme they're calling it extreme earthquakes five through eights they're saying uh, right now, Nihon, or Japan, is experiencing another burst of five earthquakes. And just before the big one there, the Fukushima earthquake that we all remember, they had a bunch of fives at that time. So if you live in Tokyo, you may think twice about staying there. <laughs> uh, big earthquakes do, and it's looking like it uh, couldn't be too far away. So they're saying that in 2018, we should see, instead of five to seven big earthquakes, we might see as many as 20 to 25. Whew. Hope that prediction's wrong. Global climate change, it gives so much, and it's so important to pay attention to this, but we're not. We just couldn't care less, could we? So I appreciate all the ups and the downs and the new subscribers, and until next time.